Well, good morning. Today, February 9th, I believe, <clears throat> it's a Tuesday. And I'm running behind. Welcome to my unprocessed life. So, <clears throat> from yesterday, um, I did well. I finished the day completely raw, completely unprocessed. Uh, it was a challenge for sure, but uh, I made it through. And I'm kind of proud of myself about that because I was really struggling last night. Now, that being said, <clears throat> I had one of the worst nights of sleep that I can remember in a long time. Um, it was awful. My feet felt like they were on fire. And I was so nauseous I could barely stand up. It was all in all a really rough night. Um, I had about a half a cup of green juice before I went to bed, which kind of helped a little bit with the nausea. And then, um, and then I tried to go to sleep. I got to sleep around 11 o'clock, which was pretty late, but the little one was up and uh, Janet was making green juice, so from this morning, so I was either going to make it myself or watch the baby, so it was just one of those things, and uh, a little bit of light on this subject. So, that was that. I woke up about 2.30 and tried to go back to sleep. Shakes and shivers. It was a rough night, and I, I honestly, I wasn't thinking straight at all, which is good, because had I been thinking straight, what I would have done is I would have gone into the kitchen and found something to eat that would slow down the detox process because that's the only thing I can figure. I know it's not the food that's making me sick. I know that it's my body is flushing out a lot of toxins and uh, what can happen sometimes is that you flush out so many toxins all at once you get sick. Ideally you don't ever want to do that. Ideally what you'd like to do is you'd like to ease into it more so that you don't feel uh, the detox symptoms is strong, uh, but I, I and I was hoping that I would kind of because of the way that I prepped for it a little bit. But apparently, I didn't prep well enough. Um, I even considered yesterday the possibility of um, putting off my unprocessed stuff uh, for a couple weeks uh, so that I could build up my microbiome, uh, build up the bacteria in my gut better to handle this better uh, but you know what I, I already got through day one uh, which I don't by any stretch of the imagination think it's gonna be the toughest day but it was a tough day but I got through that day and I don't really want to do that today again <clears throat> you know the first part of the day wasn't bad um, you know the green juice kept me pretty sustained throughout the day um, all the way till lunchtime and of course by the time we got to bananas in the end of the bananas that was rough so uh, usually we go out to lunch on Tuesdays uh, with vendors so uh, hopefully we'll go somewhere where I can get like a, a big salad today or something and maybe that will get some of that fiber into my body because uh, the juice doesn't really have the fiber because we've, we've taken it all out obviously so I need to get some more fiber. I know a lot of people like to have salads at the end of the day. I personally hate salads. Uh, I've always hated salads. Uh, my mother used to make me eat salad, uh, which thank God for that, because if mom hadn't made me eat salad, I probably wouldn't be nearly uh, as healthy as I am, or at least I wouldn't have been as healthy for as long as I was. And so that, uh, that helped quite a bit. Anyway, I just wanted to give you an update. We're gonna see what, how today goes and see how how the challenges for today go and I'll let you know what other struggles I run into if any we're, uh, we're gonna try to have a good day so have a great day